Well, how'd you like that song? I bet you've never heard that one before. When I was in school, we used to read about the legend of John Henry. Have you ever heard of John Henry? It's got something to do with the Industrial Revolution. <coughs> Excuse me. I thought this would be a fun way to review the Industrial Revolution and throw in a little uh, history with it, a little legend with it, I should say. The legend of John Henry. And so remember in the Industrial Revolution, it was a time when people stopped making things by hand so much and they started using machines. You know, we had the cotton gin, we had the textile mills with the spinning jennies that would twirl the cotton into yarn. And, oh, we talked about a lot of different things. John Deere's steel plow, the McCormick Reaper. I don't know if we talked about that this year, but it was uh, like something you pulled behind your horses, like a first lawnmower. Didn't have a motor. Uh, it wasn't motorized. We talked about steam engines and steamboats. And there was something else called a steam drill. As they were making the railroad for the steam engines, they had this steam-powered drill that would break the rocks. It would it kind of like a, a oh well, a sledgehammer or no, kind of like a I can't think of the word, um, but it's kind of like one of those drills that go. Choo -choo 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 -choo. You see them working on the side of the road probably with those. I can't think of what those things are called, uh, but anyway, <coughs> it's kind of like that, powered by steam. Well, John Henry was a, this is a legend, was a big old man, and he would bust those rocks with a hammer. And he said, I'm stronger than any old steam machine, and I want to challenge that steam machine to a competition. I can beat that steam machine all the way to the other side of the mountain with just my hammer. And so this is a battle kind of the old ways, people doing it by hand, with the new ways of the Industrial Revolution using machine. So let's read The Legend of John Henry. During the Industrial Revolution, machines started doing the work of people. They were used to make yarn, weave cloth, and saw wood. They were even used to make furniture. However, the changes taking place filled some people with sadness. Many craftsmen who took pride in their trade suddenly couldn't find work. They resented the machines, that means they didn't like, that were replacing men. This famous American legend tells about one man determined to prove that he could beat a machine. No one's really sure where John Henry came from. Some people say Alabama. Some folks say West Virginia. But one thing's for sure, John Henry was a big man. He could tackle anything, even Big Bend Tunnel. That's where he died. John Henry was a still driving man. That means he helped make railroads. He used a big old hammer and a stake to punch holes clean through mountains made of solid rock. He would whistle and sing all day working away. But old John Henry was stubborn as an ornery mule. <laughs> One day, John Henry showed up at a camp yonder in Virginia. A team of men was building a railroad up the East Coast. The team's captain was a wiry little man. He says to John, what can you do? John Henry took a deep breath and he puffed himself up like a rooster. I'm a still driving man, he said. I'm going to take my hammer and my stake and work for you. If you give me a chance, I'll work from six to five. I can crumble more mountain than any man you've ever seen. The captain laughed. With that hammer, you ain't going to work for me, he said. We use machinery here called steel drills to grind that mountain tired. Them drills run on steam power. That's power stronger than any man. But John Henry's stubbornness stood firm. He wouldn't listen to the captain. Instead, John Henry challenged the captain to a race. Whichever man punched a tunnel clean through the mountain first would win. That captain and big old John lined up by the Big Bend Tunnel. The captain had his drill and John had his hammer in his hands. All the men watched and waited. They knew that big brave John would break with sadness if he lost. John Henry hammered for all he was worth, pounding away at the rock. But the little man and his wiry drill went through that rock like a hot knife through butter. John Henry didn't give up. He hammered and heaved. He gave it all his might. Finally, he won the race with his hammer in hand, but died from exhaustion while the little captain laughed. John Henry's legs and arms gave out, but he never gave up. All the big strong men wept to see him go. To them, John Henry was a hero. He was the last of a dying breed of men who refused to let machines change their lives. They buried John Henry under the rock at Big Ben Tunnel. There's the legend of John Henry. Uh, did you like how this was written? You notice how the author kind of puts in some words that normally we wouldn't say, like ain't and use the wrong verb tense. 
on the on the last page, I think it was. Let's see if I can go back to that. Um, a team of men was building. I should say a team of men were building, but it's got some language in it that uh, that would have been used maybe that uh, that a sledge dri- a steel driving man might have used. Kind of talk a little not perf- not perfect like we do try to do when we're doing our grammar and things like that. The legend of John Henry. Okay, as always, you've got some questions about the legend. Might want to go back and listen to that first song again. Now that you understand who John Henry is better, you'll like the song more. Five questions today, 20 points each. Find the answers in the text. Hope you enjoyed hearing the legend of John Henry.